Now let us discuss about inverse. Before getting into the actual mathematical definition of inverse, let us understand what exactly an inverse is. Consider the function f of x equal to x, which means y is equal to x in a xy plane. This is one to one. Of course, let us define uh, the range. Let us say the domain is in real numbers and co-domain is also in re real numbers. This is one to one because for all x, I will have one value of y and unique value of y. If x equal to minus 1, y will be equal to minus 1. If x equal to plus 1, y will be equal to plus 1. So there is unique value for every x in the domain. And when we talk about on to, all values in codomain will have a pre image in domain. So it is on to as well. Now let us plot this. So we can get the ordered pair minus 1 comma minus 1, 0 comma 0, 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2 and so on. Very simple curve actually. So this is how the curve looks like. This is your x, this is your y. And of course the domain is x and codomain is y which is equal to x again. Now this particular function is said to possess an inverse. What exactly is an inverse? Now we will reverse the equation. That is we will write f of y equal to y that is x is equal to y. So note the given equation is f of x equal to x which is y equal to x. Now its inverse is nothing but x equal to y. That is the RHS here that is moved to the LHS and LHS here is moved to the RHS. In such an, to such an extent that we get one single variable in the LHS. Now we have f of y equal to y. This is the function. Now the domain and codomain are also reversed. Now the domain is y and codomain is x. Now let us plot. Because this is x equal to y. For y equal to 1, x equal to 1. y equal to 0, x equal to 0. Minus 1, minus 1, 2, 2. Note here the ordered pairs are minus 1, minus 1, 0 and 0, 1 and 1, and 2 and 2. Note that the ordered pairs in the given function is equal to ordered pairs in its inverse as well. Hence, y equal to x or x equal to y, when plotted in a graph, it represents the same line. So if I plot this curve for y equal to 1, x is equal to 1, for y equal to 2, x is equal to 2, and for y equal to 3, x is equal to 3. So there is no change in the curve. The line will be the same. Of course, the equations are different. In such a case, such equations are said to possess inverses. So, so far we have understood uh, what an inverse is. Now let us check what is not an inverse. So we said uh, if a function is given and if I plot it in a graph sheet, so if this is function f of x, its 
inverse when plotted it will also trace the same curve so if this is the given function f inverse of x this is the notation for inverse of f of x let us check what cannot be let us check what cannot be an inverse consider y equal to x square here for x equal to 0 y equal to 0 for minus 1 it is minus 1 sorry plus 1 for uh, plus 1 it is plus 1 for minus 2 it is 4 for plus 2 it is 4 again it's a simple parabola so if I plot it it looks like this so now for 1 I have 1 for 2 I have 4 for minus 1 again it is here minus 2 is 4 so this is the curve what we need to consider okay so it's inverse of course this is f of x so inverse is f inverse of x which is which can be derived from here since since y equal to x square taking root on both sides we get root y equal to plus or minus x so this implies x is equal to plus or minus root y so f inverse of x is equal to f of y equal to plus or minus root y that is for one y value there will be two x values let us make it very clear with another graph so let us say if uh, this is actually x equal to plus or minus root y if y equal to 2 x is equal to plus or minus root 2 so y equal to 2 is somewhere here so I need x equal to plus or minus root 2 let's say this is plus root 2 and this is minus root 2 now how will I plot I will not be able to plot because for one value in the domain so this is the domain value for one value in the domain there are two possible values in the codomain which is not possible because that contradicts the definition of the function itself thus inverse does not exist for such a function because simple reason it is not a function and another reason what can be attributed is it is not retracing the same curve so thus for a function to have inverse the two equations that is the given function and its inverse should retrace the same curve 